subconscious blocks that are holding you back. Hi, my name is Solera. I am a spiritual channel. I help people create abundance in all areas of life by channeling the spiritual guides. So let's talk about how you can remove the subconscious blocks that really keep you small, keep you feeling, you know, very in, in very much in that lock mentality, or you know, struggling with money, or struggling with health. Uh, we all have those, right? Uh, for a long time. Um, I had actually a lot of fear around earning money. It wasn't that I had trouble earning money, like I was a smart person, but I would have this like kind of just subconscious fear that if I shine too brightly in the world, then people are gonna like get me, you know? And I wasn't really aware until I started to discover like my family history. Like, so I'm Chinese and my family grew up in kind of that communist, Chinese communist era. And my grandfather, so my family had um, a lot of wealth back then and because they were quote unquote capitalist, um, my grandfather was sent to jail for 30 years and you know he was persecuted and the whole family was persecuted. And of course I didn't grow up with that, you know, like I grew up normal basically, <laughs> uh, suburban basically in, in the US. But because of all that kind of familial ancestral trauma, I guess I was carrying that subconsciously. I, I didn't really know until I started channeling actually uh, and really worked with the guides on this and they had told me that yeah you have a lot of fear around this you know it's really time to let it go because it's not yours to carry and I think once I understood that it was like I had this awareness. It's like it, you got to bring the subconscious to like the conscious level right for you to be aware of it then once you're aware of it then you can be like oh, okay now I can make the decision to let it go but it's like if you don't know then how are you gonna change right so it's very important that you do some of that subconscious work whether that's through uh, uh, hypnotherapy you know with a professional or you do self hypnotherapy I'm sure there are things you can find online uh, or you can tap into the Akashic records if you are you know familiar with that or if you if you are not familiar with that, I actually have a course on, on teaching you how to do the Akashi Records. But so you want to actually get comfortable with the uncomfortable, right? And the subconscious is not comfortable because what's comfortable is like I always do things in this way. You know, I protect myself. I don't talk to the people that I feel scared about. You know, I don't go, um, uh, you know, I don't go make money and because I feel like people are going to reject me for whatever reason. So that's like you're comfortable, you know, the uncomfortable is like the other side, but you're like, how do you, how do you change the other side, right? So you have to bring that into the, onto the surface level first for you to even, for you to look, and then you can go do something about it, right? Because if you don't know, then how are you going to change in your life? So we'll ask the guides and, um, you know, really have them come and assist you in this area, you know, in terms of removing those subconscious levels of, it's like called the gunk, you know? That's like underneath. That's what you really want to remove. So let's let's get started. Yes, we're here. So we'll be happy to assist you and we say welcome back. When you are tapping into the subconscious work, we do recommend that you work with a professional so that you know that person can sort of be an observer to guide you there. Um, you could go into your own subconscious work and what you could do is once again go through the meditative process that we have taught Solera and go into the Akashic field and ask the Akashic field to give you some guidance to show you memories that you may not even know that they exist there currently but they're there and ask the Akashic field to show you things that you have basically blocked to in order to protect yourself so you can absolutely do that through a meditative space once again when you do that make sure you protect yourself just ask for white light to surround you and enter into that in a meditative state and walk into the akashic library and see you know the books coming down and you opening the book so this is a visualization that you will have to practice you know again and again and it's not we wouldn't say it's say it's difficult you just have to kind of get used to it and we did ask Solera to teach a class on this so that other people can also learn the process as well so if that's something that interests you you can simply ask her now how do you then let's say remove or get access 
to the subconscious blocks when you don't even know what you're asking for, right? Sometimes you're like, well, I'm kind of like just drawing a blank. I don't really know what's there, but I know something is there. So let's say you don't work with a professional, you don't want to do the Akasha Kriya, we say fine. But you can still, okay, you can still ask that the things that are like hidden to be revealed to you, okay? It's just through intention, really. You just ask through your intention. You can ask you guys, hey, I feel like something's holding me back. Could be about money, could be about relationship, could be about health, whatever area that you're struggling with. You, say, you know, I feel like something's blocking me and I don't know what that is. Can you please show me because I really, really want to know how to clear this area because right now I feel like I'm just kind of stuck there and I don't really know what's going on and it feels like very, um, like, it's almost like a roadblock that I don't see but I know the roadblock is there because that's how the subconscious feels sometimes. Like you know it's there, but it's, it's like you can't see what it is, right? So you can ask the guides to show you through examples that they can give you, through imagery that they can give you, through songs that they can give you. Be like, here's what you need to work on. And then they can tell you, hey, this is the path that you need to go down, down on and to discover this about yourself. Maybe they'll lead you to go read a book, or watch a movie. It doesn't matter. Go someplace new. And then you would discover something about yourself through that process, right? It's always a process of discovery. It's not like, um, it's not like you ask about the answer and then like some angel fall down from the, falls down from the sky. Be like, here's the answer. No, it's, it's a process of self-discovery, meaning you have to go and discover that, right? It's, it's sort of like being an explorer in the world. Think of like way back when, when people go, go explore the world. You are, you need to go explore about yourself. Does that make sense? You want to, you want to go explore you, right? This is about your own journey. It's not about anybody else's journey. It's about your own journey. So we recommend that you develop this over time and just allow yourself to navigate some of these like blockages within yourself. And it doesn't have to be hard work. Sometimes you just quiet yourself down, get into the meditative state and ask yourself, I would like things to be revealed to me that are important for me to know in order for me to, let's say, move on my, in my life, you know, maybe to get healthier, maybe to create abundance. Just ask that. But we say a lot of people, you know, they'll spend hours and hours watching videos, but then they don't practice the stuff, right? So we say, watch this video, which is great. But also make sure you actually go and practice that. It's not about perfection. You don't have to be perfect in any of this. Uh, you just need to be a little bit better, okay, than you were, let's say, the day from before, right? And you're not competing with anybody else. You're like, you don't have to be like, well, I need to be better than that guy. <laughs> it's, it's not about that. You don't, you don't need to go be better than that guy. You just need to really upgrade yourself, work with yourself, and love yourself through the process. Does that make sense? So it's very important that you learn this process also in a way that's loving, kind, and gentle for yourself and not be like, I need to know this right now. In fact, when you try to discover something by yourself and you're pushing at it, guess what? doesn't go really well usually right because you're, t you're pushing too hard so we don't recommend the energy of pushing does that make sense because when you're pushing 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 you're forcing yourself but maybe you're not ready to learn about certain blocks yet and that's okay right it's okay to just allow yourself to be where you are at without demanding things from yourself also. But if you say, you know what, I'm truly ready. I'm, I deeply, deeply desire to learn this. And please show me. If you simply have a sincere intention, your guides and angels, they're there to support you. They will show you. They will lead you to the right person. They will lead you, lead you to like the right class. They will lead you to, to the um, right book or, or right movie, whatever it is, okay, whatever it is. The format doesn't matter. But we say, be open and ask, right? Like, hey, I really, really want to know. And I, and, I, and I feel like this is something that's holding me back. And I have a sincere desire to work through this. And as long as your desire is sincere and there's that willingness inside, that's the key word, okay? Willingness inside. 
openness inside if you're willing you would be able to tap into new solutions but if you're not willing and you're very stubborn in your ways then you know solutions will come to you but nothing in your life would change so it's not just about removing the subconscious block it's about removing them yes working with yourself to release them and then also you know, take a new course of action right you have to change also in the physical world by taking action so that it they go hand in hand it's not like one thing and or the other we say be gentle with yourself in this process and you don't have to push yourself and over time these subconscious blocks would rise to the surface and you will recognize them and then you can say you know what it's time to let go and when you're at that space you're ready to let go truly then they will release okay so it's that simple and with that we complete for today okay well thank you for so much for being here and watching the video i really hope that was helpful to you as always it's always helpful for me to actually channel and, and learn about it because i'm sort of just learning it with you always i'm also just a student so yeah a lot of these subconscious blocks like i said they sort of take time like you discover them over time right it's not like all of a sudden they're all going to be shown to you it's like as you're working on like a new area whether whether that's love or love or your body or money you know all, all those like common themes that we, we all kind of maybe have trouble with then those blocks are going to come up right and that's when you want to like look at them right with practice so anyway it's such a pleasure um to channel for you again please subscribe and like the video and i will see you next time ciao